guys, it's Spark, and I am starting a new thing on YouTube where I am rebuilding Newcrest. So we're starting on a 30 by 20 lot over there um, where there's the five lots and it's got that weird 40 by 30 lot. I figured I'd start over there because it would be the best um, opportunity like to build community lots first. Um, I think I have a plan in my mind, so that's why I was like, let me start with community lots and then we'll go from there. Sorry, my cat is butting the mic. <laughs> She's on the desk again, um, but anyway, bear with me. She I, she wants a lot of attention. I don't know why, but for like the last couple of weeks, she's like been wanting lots and lots of attention. I thought it was because I wasn't feeling well because I didn't have my my medicine. Um, I have Crohn's disease, so I take Stellara, and there were some issues with like insurance and stuff. Fun, and um, but she's not really like uh, left, so I don't know. So, if you hear any noises, it's probably her. Um, she's just being a lovey cat. She's a tortoise shell, so she, like, has tortitude. Usually, she doesn't want to be touched at all. She's butting the mic again. Cinnamon, you can't do that, babe. You can't do that. You can't do that. Anyway. Um, so, I thought I would rebuild Newcrest because, one, I've never built Newcrest up. I've just taken lots that I have personally liked and I've placed them down in um, Newcrest or I have built community lots over the years before Newcrest was a thing. I don't know how long after we got The Sims 4 did they introduce Newcrest. Um, let me Google it while I just keep rambling on about things. Um, but I have filled up a few lots over the years, just not enough and I think it'd be fun to build enough lots to fill up like new crest with new lots because I feel like I've been using the same lots since it was introduced uh, <laughs> so like uh, for example I built a greenhouse a long time ago when this seasons first came out and I think it's time that I have a new one because I constantly go use that one and I think it'd be nice if I had just a new one because we've had a lot of packs since I built that one I think it would be nice to build a new one plus I use the same wedding lots all the time so I think it'd be nice to have like another wedding lot to possibly use June 2015 Newcrest was introduced so nine years ago over nine years ago almost 10 years ago I, d I knew it was like the year after the Sims 4 was introduced but that was very soon that was not even a year after the Sims 4 uh launched so but yeah, so, but today we're building a thrift and bubble tea shop. Um, I've never built a thrift and bubble tea shop. I went into this knowing that I was going to build a community lot and I was going to start over there with the 40 by 30 lot. Of course, this is a 30 by 20 because I was like, let's start small and we'll go from there and it'll be good. It'll be fine because <laughs> I'm not the best builder. Um, all I knew is that I was like, I'm going to load into the lot. And I'm going to look at my options because there's so many options for community lots now that it's just, like, overwhelming <laughs> um, to, like, pick something to build. So I decided to go with Thrift and Bubble Tea because I've never built one. And we don't have any Thrift or Bubble Tea lots in the world except for in Copperdale. And, you know, I go to that one all the time and I love that lot. I think the Copperdale lots are really nice. I really like the, the dock and if you consider it a lot, but I really like that there's stuff to do in Copperdale. I really, I am a big fan of high school years. I know other people will disagree with me on that. It's one of my top favorite packs. Like I, right now I probably rank it number three or at least in the top three. I know Seasons was my favorite and I'd probably put Get Together and then high school years the the build by content in high school years is just so good I use it all the time so <laughs> that's like really swaying me plus I really like prom and I really like having activities for teens I think it's a lot more fun plus I love the cuddle carts and the ferris wheel and stuff I go there all the time for dates I just love places to go for my sims and I like to mix it up and I like to take my sims out so that way they can meet people. I used to be a person that was like, they stay home, they skill, 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 skill build. They work, 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 work. And I'm now these days, I'm more into like letting my Sims build relationships. And I've gotten a lot better at managing their social life and their work life. So I really just like lots where I can 
take them, and I really enjoy them, and I really like Copperdale. I'm not gonna lie. We are planning on building a high school on stream when my Gen 3 Sims get to be teens. That's a, that's a long ways away. My Sims aren't even married yet, my Gen 2 Sims, but be on the lookout for that. I will post it in the Discord. If you're not in the Discord already, you should be. It's linked in the description down below, so you should definitely go join. We talk about all kinds of things. It's a good time. The community is a great community. I think you'll have a lot of fun, and you'll, you'll enjoy yourself, so... Um, let's see. I wanted to go with green because I was thinking of like this, um, like electric. That's the first word that came to mind. I was like yellow, green, orange colors. And ultimately I decided to go with green. I never like build with green cause green is my least favorite color. It has grown over, it has grown on me over the years because it's, uh, Blake's my husband's uh, favorite color. So my favorite color is yellow and I always tend to like in builds I always 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 use yellow that or pink I'm really drawn to or blue those three all the time so I try to branch out and try to do something different so I, I try to find like a good electric green and spa day has a really cool wallpaper that I use upstairs I just nothing like I had such a hard time trying to match it and I was like dude this isn't going well so I just went with like different kinds of green like we went with like a greenish bluish it's definitely more green but um on the outside you can see that there's little blue hues in it it's a little bit cooler toned and then we went with like a sea foam green on the inside which obviously has a little bit of yellow in it so a little bit warmer tone i tried so hard to use that green rack two things one it just did not look that good um i'm gonna be so for real um i i uh then realized uh, that the qualifications for like a boba and thrifty store were that you had to use four clothing racks and these ones didn't count i don't know why but the ones that you, are empty racks that you place clothes on they don't count i don't get it so i had to take it away anyway uh as much as i wanted to use it it just was not working so it, i had to get rid of it anyway so i did also can we just talk about how i like how much i hate the requirements, I guess, not like qualifications, but the requirements for like builds, it drives me mad. It drives me so mad because I like, I would love to be able just to build whatever I want, like I did in The Sims 3, and then just make it what it is without these requirements in the game. As soon as I realized that that's how building was in The Sims 4, I was like, bro. And building is so easy in The Sims 4, it is so much easier than it is in The Sims 3. But it's so much harder at the same time because of these requirements. Like, you know, you have a vision for your build, you know what you want to do, and, like, sometimes you can't do it because the requirements screw you. <laughs> like, I struggled at the end so hard because it would not, I put down, like, little love seats right here as you, like, the little green couches with the pillows. They're not, like, they're not classified as sofas in the game. So, they didn't count as a sofa when i in the requirements and so at the end i was scrambling trying to find a place for a sofa and i was like this build is not big enough for a sofa like that and i was like i like the way the upstairs looks why do i need a sofa i made it work you'll see but i was not happy i was like i want to not have to put a sofa here <laughs> but you know it is what it is and it's just it's the sims 4 so I really like the vending machines. I'm glad that I moved it around upstairs so I could fit a snack. And I think, are they both snack machines? I can't remember. One is definitely a snack machine from high school years. The rest are from Snowy Escape. But I got the Bibbidi machines, like Bibbidi Bobbidi machine or whatever, and then the Simmies. And I'm really excited because I think I want to start, like, a collection in my um, Marin Legacy that I'm playing on Twitch. I think I want to, like, collect a bunch of stuff like the crystals and like finish all the collections but I'm not ready for that yet um I'm on gen 2 and what I want to do I talked about this in another video I think in one of the created a uh, story mini series videos my gen 2 sims are about to get married and have like a baby and I want that baby to grow up and have a baby with Santa Claus because it's Christmas time and I think that would be perfect and I don't think it would be that hard so I just recently switched to fiber internet and I have unlimited data now. It's very awesome. <laughs> like I um, switched on Tuesday. It is November 8th, 
when I recorded this, so November 5th is when I switched, and it, it's, it's great. It's grand. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Before I had a local company, I won't say their name because they're local and that'll dox me, but, um, they didn't offer an unlimited data plan and the entire time I was just like, it's because they want money. There's no reason for them not to offer an unlimited data plan. Literally nobody has a limited data plan that I know of, at least the companies that are nationwide, like AT&T, Optimum, T-Mobile, Frontier, um, that kind of thing. I don't know anybody who offers a limited data plan these days anymore. So I was just like, scam but I was having really bad problems with my old internet company so I switched to them because I was told they were great and I didn't have any problems up until December last year is when it all went down the drain so I tried to give them like an opportunity to fix it and they just wanted to gaslight me more and I should have known better because when they came to install it back in 2021 they tried to gaslight me then they were here literally from like 8 a.m to 5 p.m running up and down the street trying to find some blockage in the neighborhood they tried to tell me that i didn't have wi-fi because of my electricity because it kept dropping and i'm talking it would drop for hours and not come back on and when it was on i it was basically unusable and i was paying for one gig speeds and i'm just like like one gig down and i think 100 up and I'm just like, I'm not getting that. Like, I can't even watch YouTube. It's so bad. And they tried to gaslight me and tell me it was my electricity. And I was just like, whatever. So I went out, bought my own modem router. And then when I tried to tell them that, like, I don't think their router works because mine's working just fine, they laughed at me. And I was like, oh, we've got, we've got words, dude. Mm, I should have known better. But, you know, I didn't. But now I have unlimited data and I'm thinking of, like, going live for like much longer times because I can because I'm not like gonna be paying an overcharge and it's so exciting it's so exciting I can upload more not get yelled at for going over it's not my fault I don't I track how much data we use okay I used to at least not anymore because we switched and I just I don't do it anymore because it's no there's no point but I would track and I would like check to see how much we're using in a day and I would not stream or post or anything because I didn't want to go over but now I don't have to worry about it and it's great. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to see, I'm going to use this lot a lot. I'm going to come here a lot. I'm really excited to like make a new save file because I'd like to adjust the lots to my play style and how I want to play the game. I like when they have multiple things to do. And some of these like base game lots and older packs don't have lots that do that. And if you guys know the queen Q U X X N on YouTube, she did pass away back in July of 2013. I miss her so much. She's my favorite simmer and YouTuber. She uh, does that with her lots. She was my f the first simmer I ever watched. And I think because of her, my play style mimics the way she plays and how I like to adjust my lots because of her. I like to, um, my build style, I feel like is similar to like hers. And I just, I really love her. If you guys don't know, you should go check her out. Of course, like sh um, her sister was uh, like updating her like YouTube and stuff and posting, but I don't, she hasn't posted in there in years, but she left all the videos up for everybody to rewatch if they wanted to. So yeah, you guys should go check her out. I love her. She did the Sims 3, The Walking Dead, SimCity. Loved her. But anyway, <laughs> um, just my girl crush. <laughs> uh, I did name this electricity, like I said, and I think the description says something about like electricity is the place to be cheesy, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, come grab some boba, shop the the thrift finds or something and uh relax by the bonfire or something along those lines and I thought it was uh a cute description I did give it the convivial trait so that way you could build relationships a little bit faster here when you go on dates or like friendship dates or something I thought about giving it romantic aura but like it's not it's more of like a friendly like environment like a get to know you know if you have love struck so I really enjoy this lot a lot and I'm really excited to like use it and I'm excited to create a new like save file and like start to use it because some of these base game lots are terrible and I'm ready to like revamp them a little bit put a little twist on it sparks way you know what I mean it just sucks my save file broke but it had it coming <laughs> thank you guys for watching I love you all make sure you join the discord turn on post notifications and I will catch you all later bye